you ever wondered how you can train Atlas stones, but you are in a space where you just don't have room to have a full set of Atlas stones, whether it be your garage gym or a commercial gym? Hi, I'm Karen with the Atlas Strength Shop, and today I'm going to show you how you can train Atlas stones with a loading pin and a collar. So this specific loading pin is something they actually sold commercially for a while. This is one of the first pieces of equipment I ever bought. I got it from Amazon. I don't remember how much it cost. I'm not even sure they make these anymore. But this thing is an 18 pound pipe. It's pretty much, it's a galvanized steel pipe that they filled with more metal, sealed the top, sealed the bottom, put a washer around the end, and now it's an 18 pound piece of metal. If I had to do over again, all I would have done was just gotten a loading pin because a loading pin would have done the exact same thing and would have been a lot more user friendly because the way this, this one is designed, if you don't have that weight in the center, it's just gonna roll out of your hand. With a loading pin, it's a lot more forgiving because the weight you're lifting is mostly going to be in the plates that you load onto this thing and not necessarily in the pipe itself. While 18 pounds may not seem like a lot when you're dealing with something like Atlas stones or any other round object, that 18 pounds can make a hell of a lot of distance when it comes to keeping it in your hand. But all you do is you just load plates onto this and you pop the collar down. Now, like I said, because this is so heavy, if the weights aren't centered, then you're gonna have problems. So oftentimes what I would do is I would actually put collars here and use them as spacers. But today we're just gonna use bumper plates because that is going to be a hell of a lot easier to demonstrate. If you don't have bumper plates, like I said, you can do this with any kind of plate. You can do this with iron. I don't recommend doing this with steel calibrated plates because you might not get them back off of this, but regular iron plates or bumper plates will do. If you don't have a loading pin, you can order one from Amazon, you can order them from Titan Fitness, but you can also just go to Home Depot and get a 12 to 18 inch length of one and a half inch black pipe. I know a lot of y'all are thinking one and a half inches is not wide enough to put a weight on and have it be snug. That's the inside diameter. When you look at uh, when you look at pipe dimensions, what they give you is they give you the inside diameter. The outside diameter of a 1.5 inch steel pipe is going to be 1.9 inches and that's about as close you're gonna get. So you can just grab that and then you just collar on both sides and you're good to go. Then you can really, uh, get centered with that but yeah going on Amazon or Titan Fitness and just getting a cheap loading pin that's probably your best bet so now I'm going to teach you how to, load, how to actually use this thing so in reality loading this thing is super simple to be honest I kind of feel silly showing y'all I just know that if I don't somebody's going to ask me well how did you load it but first let me tell you how this came about on TikTok somebody actually tagged me in a video of them doing this and so I, I made a response to it and we had a lot of questions so I figured why not just make a YouTube video out of the whole thing? That way I can reach more people. So for, for ease of the video, I just grabbed some 45s. You just put them on the plate. I'm sorry, you put the plate on the pin. Load it up. And then you collar it down. Now this is going to be a little bit off center, so I'm going to actually be able to show you all that. We just flip it over and I have to do a new shot to really show you all what I'm talking about. So I've got it set up. It's ready to be picked, but now that you see how much room is left, that's probably about seven pounds worth of pipe sitting right there, which is, you wouldn't have this problem if it was just normal loading pin, but you're going to have this problem here and watch. You come down, you go to pick it and it rolls out in front of you. There's not really a whole hell of a lot you can do about that unless you put spacers on the other side. But what I'm just gonna do today, I'm just gonna take another 45, put it on there, lock it back down with the collar again. And now it should be good to go. So this is gonna be roughly like 200 pounds or something, which Let's be honest, if you don't own any stones, this is a really good way to train without getting stones. If you get beyond this, you're just gonna do what I do, and you're just gonna make your first stone. So you get under it, you pick it, you lift it up, and then you bring it back down. And you're just gonna work that in reps. 
that is going to give you just enough to give you a little bit of confidence and take that edge off whenever you get to an actual stone in your first competition, if that is what you are training for. So that's it for the video. In a perfect world, we'd all have a full set of stones like we do here at the Atlas Strength Shop. But I know a lot of people are either training in garage gyms or they're training in commercial gyms that just don't have that kind of equipment. The sport's not gonna grow if we don't come up with solutions together. And this, while not perfect, is a close enough solution to get you through for now. Now, when, when I started, I started in a snap fitness. I didn't have all this. So when I was training for my first competition, this is how I did it. I, I used this and I loaded it up with bumper plates. I picked it up and I put it back down and I got stronger. When it got to the point where I can no longer do that with the equipment that I had, that is when I started to make stones. My first stone I ever made was 240 pounds. It was ugly as shit. It's still sitting over there. It survived to this day. And that got me until we built the first location of the Atlas Strength Shop. So if you found value in this video, please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. And also what I want you to do is I want you to screenshot this and share it in your Instagram stories. Anyone who tags us on Instagram that has shared this in their stories, I'm going to send you a promo code that is good for any of the apparel on our website. And we have some really cool apparel on the website. If you're in the Baton Rouge area, I'd love to meet you. Please come by and see us. I know uh, somebody commented on our last video. They're going to come to our strength camp on August 15th. We are really looking forward to seeing you all there. If you want to compete in a show and you're in Southeast United States, we have the third annual Rougarou Classic coming up November 19th. We'd love to see you there. If you're not in the area and you still want to support the channel, like I said, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, or you can go to our website and check out our apparel line. I love our apparel line. I drew them all myself. And I think they're pretty cool. But yeah. So that's it for the video. See you next time.